Hey folks, BC7 here, and welcome back to Iron Horse Farm. And, uh, yeah, the ride of the Narwhal, I'm at it again. I, uh, last episode there, when I was mucking about with these bags, trying to put them into that shed, and all sorts of, uh, wondrous chaos ensued. But at any rate, um, weird thing is, is I never did figure out where the heck that one bag went. Like, I looked all over, I, you know, did the scan items thing, because it does show up as an item on your map. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I ended up having to just, uh, sell the darn thing and, uh, kind of, you know, get on with it from there. So, yeah, I think my, uh, cultivator goes in here. But, uh, <laughs> that was, uh, certainly a uh, interesting session of bouncing around. Okay, I don't see any room for my cultivator in here. By guppies. That's not good. Alright, well, we'll have to go over one yard. Not a big deal, but can be done quite simply. Look out, Miss Brown Chicken. Right between the wheels, no problem. And another one right between the wheels. There we go. And one last one. Hey, vey, here we go. Right. Okay. Now. What we got? Lower, yeah, that's uh, for that. Uh, that's because we're on the harvester. Uh, nothing shows up there, nothing shows up there. Okay, that says unload bulk tool, so I imagine we can also drop it with that one, then, right? Yes, perfect. See, that's what wouldn't happen the last time is it doesn't, uh, if you look at the little tractor symbol. And see nothing changed between those two controls there that actually went to the tractor now that's on the top piece again that's the back piece so yeah for yeah it's kind of weird but that's uh, that's what I'm gonna say happened <laughs> was entirely because of that that we had that little issue so there we go I still haven't really found a place for the cultivator Hmm. That's, uh, problematic. There really isn't a lot of places to be parking your gear. I've already tried. There's, I mean, there, there's all that space in there. And although the tractor fits in there, the cultivator's too wide. Yeah, these are really narrow doors. So, something to keep in mind if you decide to give this map a little go. As for the rest of it, yeah, I'm pretty much driving aimlessly around the yard because I've completely forgotten what we were doing here. <laughs> I've been uh, mucking about on uh, Bellevue for the last few days. Because it is such a big map that, aside from just doing the episodes, I have to spend, you know, three, four hours actually sorting out the rest of... Uh, Perfect. Yeah, I have to spend three or four hours after each episode, you know, finishing fields or doing whatever, otherwise there'd be five episodes in a row of just me harvesting or seeding or whatever the particular full labor of the day is. And speaking of harvesting, I do believe that we have some stuff that needs harvesting here. I think what I'm going to actually do is have a quick tab about and see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay, I've got one row done there. Other stuff, you're at the shop, you're sitting idle, you're sitting idle, you're idle, idle. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. <laughs> Help. Ah, inside of you. Okay. And you... Alright, well, no, you look like you're the, uh... You're the big parade. Oh, fine, I'll wait. Now, let's 
switch over to the combine. Combine. And I've switched to driving mode. Could not unfold grain tank what? Please unload grain tank first. What? Oh, I see. It's already open. Okay. I was expecting more to happen. See, they won't close it as long as there's something in the tank. Which I guess that's reasonable. Sure, why not? Why not? And this, of course, is that nice little uh, Dutes Harvester that we picked up, the top liner. I really like this. This is a, a dandy piece of kit, this thing. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Much better. And I just gotta have a little check here. Make sure we're making straw. We are making straw. That's wonderful. Okay. So I kinda disappointed. I downloaded the Apple mod. And that allows you to, uh... Well, alright. Uh, theory is that allows you to put apple trees down on your property and then every once in a so often you get to take a trailer over there and it does this little harvest thing and you get a bunch of apples and then there's a kiosk that comes with it that you plant somewhere else and whenever you get apples you take them out to the kiosk and they eventually get sold etc etc I mean it sounded like a kind of a cool thing to add sort of you know almost like the what they had in historical farming so. but um, for some reason the only thing I can actually get to spawn into the game is the little uh, modded Elmsland trailer that you uh, collect and harvest the apples into so the actual kiosk and the apple trees, although they take me to the placeable, there's nothing to place. Uh, yeah, that's confusing as heck, isn't it? Here, look. Like, here's the apple tree. It comes with the apple tree, the kiosk, and then, like I say, a trailer under tipper, tippers. So let's say we're going to buy one. I still haven't straightened out our money. Sorry, guys. Let's say we're going to buy an apple tree. Okay, there's the normal procedure, and it comes to your place map. But... See, it won't actually let me place anything. It's not saying I can't, right? It's just, right, nothing happens. And I thought, well, maybe what it is, is you gotta buy the kiosk first. You see, it also didn't charge me for any apple trees. So, buy the kiosk. It immediately goes to a placement screen. Which is what you'd expect. That's what you want. But again, you can't actually place it anywhere. And if you go back, you'll see that we don't own one. Like I said, I can buy the trailer. That's not an issue. They don't seem to have a problem with that at all. But, yeah, as far as... Uh, so, unfortunately, sorry guys. I thought we'd get to try something really, really cool, like having some uh, apples to harvest, but not this time around. No Siri Bob. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll live. Okay. So, we are actually getting a decent bit of wheat together here. Let's turn. It's funny, the other John Deere I have, the big one, does that to really, really dump speed on turns. Um, the class, not so much. None of the, the uh, classes I've used seem to do that. And the in-game ones don't. They seem to actually accelerate when you turn them. It's just because the butt ends swing out so quick that they seem to be going quicker than they are. But, yeah, but the John Deere's, no. And the bigger one is, like, it almost comes to a dead stop. Like, you do a 90-degree corner like this, and yeah, it'll be down to one point something mile an hour. Guaranteed. But, they're not bad. It's a little boxy looking. I mean, they ain't the prettiest things from the outside. Ooh, a little bit of a spike there, eh? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I'm just such a pro, I scare myself. So, but this one's kind of 
a nice looking little thing. I do like this one. Yeah, like I said, the John Deere's, I don't know. You know, this one slows a little bit on corners. The John Deere's almost come to a stop. The bigger one, way worse than the small one. And the, uh, the classes don't change at all. And the in-game ones, yeah, they seem to just zoom. So, I don't know. That's, uh, not a great job back there. <laughs> yeah, this one I don't mind the look of. It's not, uh, not as squarish as the John Deere. That's what I find really kind of, you know, they either need to be a little bit longer or a little bit narrower because they're just so boxy looking. But, I guess when it comes to farming, you probably don't care what color they are or how purdy they are. It's how well they work. So, I don't think I've got a particular tractor lined up to take this out of here yet, so let's see. We will see here in a moment, because he's going to be full right quick. Kind of an odd pattern that it leaves here. Eh? This is a different sort of texture that they painted this map with. It actually shows up through the straw rows. It's not something you see often. I don't know if I'm a fan of it, to be honest with you, because the other way, the uh, straw rows look like they have more substance. I'm sure it doesn't make a difference, just makes you feel like you're going to get more. You know? There, there, more, more. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to think of who I want as my trailer towing pal here. Because you're pretty much done, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. 7,500 liters and you're gonna call her a day. So, not you, not you. Well, you're sitting here running, so... You might as well... Yeah, you might as well make yourself useful, boy. Come on. Do, 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 do. Trailer's just sitting in the next field over. Your little narwhal tusk should make a good enough weight to at least allow you to hook on and drag it over there. Bumpity bumpity bump. And the trailer's sitting in here because I had to reset it when we had our little flip out with the uh, bag or whatever that stuff was yeah they knocked the trailer over just enough to the side that it was stuck behind the pole for the uh, garage so yeah there was no way to get it out it was like right up against the pole and because that shed is so short and narrow it was already about as far back as it could possibly go so uh, yeah I had no choice I had to reset it Ooh, a lot of slip off and run there. I'll throw you into all wheel drive. That's better. 13% slip when we gave her the gave her the go go juice to get her moving. That ain't good, so let's empty this puppy out and see where we go from there. Although, and this is really bugging me, so I meant to do this between episodes. What do we got? Anything here that's really expensive? Not really, yeah. Uh, placeables, let's go to, yeah. We'll find some things here that'll balance out our cash flow. You, buy it. Sell, uh, buy it. Sell, buy it. Sell. Okay. We've outspended you. Yeah, you'll do. Buy. Sell. And buy. And sell. Uh, you'll do. Bye. And bye bye. The $63,000 question is do we need one of these? No, we don't. 23. Oop, I don't want to do that one because I actually own one. Then it gets confusing because you always end up selling the one you're sitting on. So, yeah. Not a fan of that. So you can't actually. That's about right. We don't own any of those. So let's buy one and sell it. Hey, buy another one and sell it. We, oh, not quite, eh? Butter. No, we already have one of those. 
The reason it says we have two of these Lambos is because you can only reset one. Every other one you reset after that is a clone. Yeah, like, it, it will always leave one sitting at the shop. Unless you actually drive it away. You can sell them just fine, but I suppose you could use it to spawn in money $23,000 at a time ad infidium, basically, so... <laughs> never thought of that. Okay, what, uh, here we go. We'll buy one of these. We'll sell it. Now we're looking a little more like the money we should be having. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't think we're going to find anything in here under that level. Alright, uh... Sure, let's buy one of those and sell it. Let's buy another one and sell it. And... close enough. Yeah, close enough. 4700 bucks. That's better. Now... Go visit the harvester. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Be back there? You are good for you. I do like these, uh, Canaze trailers. I've actually got quite a set of them going on. Um, Big Boss Modding is the one that's putting them out, and they've slowly been converting them all over to MR, so as they do, I've been downloading them. There we go. I guess we just weren't quite as far as we needed to be. Or even a little more than that. There we are. That's better. Much better. So yeah, I guess you guys can see what my project of the day is. I'm going to uh, drive myself crazy driving around in circles until I get this field all harvested. And then, uh, don't think we're going to sell her right off. You're done, are you? Alrighty then. Great. Yeah, I don't think we'll be uh, super, super anxious. Uh, hey, this guy can still more or less haul this thing when she's mostly full. Good. We'll see if he can actually do it when she's completely full. So yeah, I'll finish uh, harvesting off this field. Next time around, we should... Uh, it does leave a different sort of stubble pattern than normal textures. That's all right. I kind of like it. Um... Next time around, we will be uh, bailing this up, or picking it up one way or another, anyways. And hopefully putting it to some use, i.e. taking a visit out to the cows. So, till then, guys, I think that's, uh... Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on, I ain't that heavy, am I? Really? I get in the tractor and just about bounce you on your snooty? Let's try that again. Okay, not near so bad that time. <laughs> wow, is this thing that well balanced that just platten my butt in the seats enough to almost tip it over? That's kind of crazy. Ooh, horn works. So does the pipe. All right, guys, this has been Species Seven. Hope you enjoyed the episode of Farming Simulator 2013 from Iron Horse Farm version two, more realistic hard mode. Yada yada yada. Till next time, hey. Take care of each other and ciao for now.